Florida Power and Light wants to put in 30 million solar panels by 2030. Here's why I'm calling bullshit. Hey everyone out there, another episode of Uncensored Solar TV coming to you from us, all of us here at Solar Wolf Energy. And in the intro there, I alluded to the how FPL is going to basically put 30 million solar panels up and bring power to their consumers by 2030. So 30 million by 2030. Sounds amazing, right? A huge utility company going green, right? If you figure out, like I have, read between the lines and you understand this industry, you know exactly why they're doing this. Because it's enormous and it's fantastic PR. It's going to be a lot of free PR. Every million panels, they're going to update you. FPL is putting a seventh million solar panel. It's going to be great, right? Let's switch to FPL. They're paying a little bit more, but it's okay. Here's why it's bullshit. It's bullshit, and you're going to see not just FPL, but you're going to see a lot of power companies pushing this out. Here's why, again, I'm calling the bullshit. Because what they do not want is for you to be self-sustained. Put 20 panels on your home, one or two batteries. You don't need them at all. New construction, residential, commercial, whatever. As battery technology gets better, as panel technology gets better, you don't need them. Here's why they want all the free press they can possibly get from this. Because other countries are switching to microgrids, which is essentially, let's say you and it's 79 other homes, let's call it 99 other homes, on your street, your cul-de-sac, what have you, right? If 70 of you put solar on your house and you all agree, all 100 of you agree, maybe, you know, maybe 30 of you can't uh, with roof construction design, shading, what have you, just some reasons, but 70 of you can, you come together as a neighborhood and figure out that, well, I only need 7,000 kilowatts a year, but I'm going to put 8,500 on my house capacity so that the other 30, right, we all come together and we become our own neighborhood power company. This is exceptional power because if we all did this across the country, power companies would be eliminated. No more high tension lines, every, you know, all this other stuff, all the ugly infrastructure. You know, a lot of these towns are in states are want to spend in a ridiculous amount of money taking all the power lines, putting them underground because it looks better. How nice. Your taxes are going to be ridiculous. Think about what it costs to build a new school. Now take all the power lines in your town, put them underground. That's probably two or three times the cost of building a school. 30, 40, 80, 100 million for some of these, some of these towns and municipalities, depending on the size, right? Think about it. Knowing all that, it's, and knowing the potential takeaway that these utility companies would have, if we all switch to a microgrid system, we wouldn't have to worry about a PG&E filing bankruptcy, and guess who's paying the ticket for all that? We all are, because the government's going to step in, start writing checks on warrants, on bonds, on anything that's owed, leveraged equity, anything that's owed to, to uh, vendors, whatever, from PG&E, is now going to get picked up by Uncle Sam via you and I, right? All these large power companies, much like if you go all the way back to the, the big financial bang that happened in 07 or 08, remember? Who picked up the tab for that? Again, you and I. How many people went to jail? None. How many banks actually closed? A few, right? Those people migrated to other banks. Within 36 months, they were asking for bonuses again, right? No repercussion. Do you think the energy storage side of it, the, the energy utility company, is any, the whole industry is much different as far as size, amount of employees. They're going to use that as leverage. This is why I'm calling bullshit on FPNL with the whole 30 million for 2030. This, again, this is my opinion. So, this is why I'm calling bullshit on it. I don't see the value in it. It's great on the face of it, but what if we came together and everybody had storage in today's efficient panels? We wouldn't need power companies at all. You want proof? Fine. App 
Apple, Facebook, they build enormous campuses, estates, hundreds of acres, property, you know, hundreds, dozens of acres under roof. They are able to be completely self-sustained just using renewable energy, wind, solar, all this other stuff, right? So power companies, don't give me the excuse, don't give me the bullshit that, oh, you, we could not live today on power. It's bullshit. Would it cost more money right now? Yes. Would it cost way less every year with inflation going forward? What does it look like in 30 years? An enormous savings. And that is mathematical, right? That is, that, that's the truth. So, thanks for watching the episode of uh, Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by all of us here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thanks.